Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically spending and saving, what we can do with all of our money, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we get money at when we get older, we get a job through income. And typically our income is reported in one of two ways. So sometimes you'll get a wage. And that's typically, that's how much money you get per hour. So let's say you work at Walmart, you might get $10 an hour. So every hour you work, you get $10. Sometimes you get your income and it is based on your salary. So salary is a yearly amount. So they just give you a big amount. They might say you earn $50,000 a year or, um, you know, $100,000 a year. But that's going to be obviously given to you every single month, but they report it to you in a big chunk. That's called a salary. So what do you do with that money? Well, we always have to spend money. And uh, a lot of these things, uh, let's split these up into two sections. There are planned spending. So you might have your bills, right? You know that you've got to pay for your cell phone. If you're older and you have a job, you probably have a car. Uh, you might have a home that you pay for. And you're going to need food. Maybe not take out food every single night, but you're going to have to eat something, right? So those are planned spending decisions. And so you know that you're going to have to do that every single month. Uh, sometimes there are some unplanned uh, spending decisions. Um, like let's say your uh, plumbing suddenly springs a leak and you got to pay a professional to come out and fix your plumbing. Uh, let's say your car needs to be repaired. Uh, these are things that you aren't expecting and they just happen. You get into a car accident, someone bangs up your car, um, something like that happens and you're not planning on it. Well, how do you get money for that? Well, the best way to do that is this third column right here is to start saving. Now, saving is when you keep money in the bank and you just leave it there until you need it. And there's two different ways you can do that. Most uh, adults have a checking account. That's their main account. Uh, you can write checks from it. You can use a debit card. That's where your paycheck gets deposited. Money comes in and out, in and out. Another option, if you know you're going to be able to save money long term, would be a savings account. It's also at the bank. And it can be connected to your checking account if necessary. But the nice thing is, is you get just a little bit of interest from the bank. Not a whole lot, but interest is extra money that is paid to you by the bank because uh, of your saving the bank there. And they're going to end up using it for, the bank uses it for other things. But if you ever need it, they can always give it back to you real quick. So they give you a little bit of extra money for letting them use your money just a little bit. But it's it never disappears. It's just always there. So that is what we could do with savings. Now, why would we want to save money? Well, one of the big reasons we already said, unplanned decisions. Because uh, sometimes we don't plan on spending money, but we just have to. And it's always nice to have that money ahead of time. Sometimes we hear the phrase, uh, keep the money for a rainy day. You never know when you're going to need it. Another great reason to save is college. College is extremely important, whether it be a, a junior college, community college, whether it be a four-year university like the University of Texas or A&M, or whether it's even a trade school that gives you specific skills. Uh, those are all very important, and that costs a lot of money. So you can start saving right now for college, and it will more than make up for it, because the more education you have, uh, the bigger the income is. There's a big relationship between more college equals more money. Now, finally, what is another thing you can do with your money? The last option is giving. And so a lot of us decide to give a little bit of money to different charities. These are organizations uh, that work and most of the time they rely on donations from you. Uh, so a lot of areas have food banks. They help provide food for families that need it that food comes uh, from donations from people that give them money. A lot of time people give money to churches as well because the people that work at the church, they depend on your money to help live. 